ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਐਸ ਪਰ ਏਵਰੀ ਟਿਊਸਡੇ ਹਾਫ 7 ਐਸ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਵੀਕਲੀ ਲਾਈਵਸ ਅਮ ਵੀਵ ਬੀਨ ਏਵਰੀ ਟਿਊਸਡੇ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਲੋਕਲੀ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਬਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਅਮ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਵੀਡੀਓਸ ਅਮ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਲਾਈਵਸ ਅਮ ਵੀਵ ਡਨ ਓਵਰ ਦ ਲਾਸਟ ਫਿਊ ਵੀਕਸ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਔਨ ਯੂਟਿਊਬ ਅਮ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਟਾਈਪ ਇਨ mata sahib god educational trust and uh, under playlist uh, there'll be the different lives that have been going on um, on the other days as well uh, through the weeks and you'll see that uh, by gurudas ji zavara uh, which we do locally we've got we've gotten to the 10th var which is what you could think of like a chapter the 10th var of 40 and uh, by gurudas ji is the nephew of the third guru their cousin Uh, Bibi Panni ji is the wife was is the wife of uh, the fourth guru Guru Ramdas ji and then that makes them the mamma ji of Guru Arjan Dev ji and when Guru Arjan Dev ji um when we say wrote Guru Granth Sahib ji or the Guru Granth Sahib ji containing the first five Guru Sahib's uh, writings um Pai Gurdas ji was the one who who physically wrote the Gurbani so Guru Arjan Dev ji would speak the Gurbani and uh Pai Gurdas ji would be the scribe so the one that the one that would transcribe uh what guru sahib ji and all of the bhagats were 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 um speaking and bai gurudas ji's writings have their own place um in sikhi in the sikh world um they are the as per as per the uh, title given to them given to them by guru arjan dev ji uh, bai gurudas ji's writings are the key to understanding Gur- gurbani um or the writings of the guru uh, guru granth sahib ji and so uh, in all of the chapters by guru dasji go through different themes different examples everything that's essentially mentioned in guru granth sahib ji i just explain it a little bit to make it easier to understand when we read gurbani and in this 10th chapter they've been going through some key figures or historical figures or characters that have uh, appeared in um, in our history whether they be kings um today is me a king and a queen a predominantly a, a queen today uh we've had in the pre- in the past uh bhagat so saints uh, that have uh, blessed um this world over the the, uh, the many ages we've had bhagat dru bhagat prahlad ji who at the young ages of 5 um uh, super super young ages uh, reached by guru became one with vaiguru there were also princes as well um we had um bhagat ambrik who was a king as well uh, last week we had raja janak who was um sita's uh father and also a, a great king who uh, as we if you tuned in last week you saw how with only a little bit of simran in exchange for that simran how many uh, people he saved from uh, from the hells so this week we will jump straight into it uh, by gurudas ji are going to talk about somebody called raja hari chand so the king hari chand and tara rani so the queen tara and um as we do uh these are figures that are mentioned in guru granth sahib ji that's the whole point by guru das ji are focusing on things that come up in pop up in guru granth sahib ji and try and explain those to to make it easier to understand for us uh so uh so two pankti that i found quite quickly there are others as well where uh hari chand's uh city and a story behind his uh, there's a story when he passes away he takes his like city with him um but then in the middle he sort of uh, questions why guru and because uh, of that doubt um his city it is neither on the uh, on the earth neither has it reached the heavens and that's referred to as harchandori harchandori uh, or harchandarpuri um, but in gurbani is referred to as harchand harchandori um and it's sort of like used as an example of a mirage so you see it um but is it really is you know is it really there or people have spoken about it but have you sort of seen it um so it's used as an example of a facade or of a of a sort of illusion um but where uh, raja hari chand is referred to directly so we have um he uh, gurbani aisa garb bura sansar uh, so we have hari chand dan kare jas leva ben gur ant na pae apeva so uh, hari chand the, the great story about is about him so sort of towards the end of his life is how he um detaches himself from all of his belongings and he um gifts them all he donates them all uh, to those who are who are less fortunate than himself and uh, vaiguru tests him and tests him and tests him and tests him and he keeps going and going and going and going that's the sort of quite a uh, famous story about harijan harijan but here but vaiguru actually talk about a different story there's also another pankti um 
तिन हरि चंद पृथ्वी पत राजा कागद की मन पाई राजा हरि चंद जी वाज ए ग्रेट ग्रेट राजा पृथ्वी पत um he, he um but kagad ki mana pai even he did not understand his preordained uh, destiny you know um that his karm essentially he didn't understand them and he he said he doubted them like we sort of referred to earlier but so there are two examples of where um raja hari chand are referred to like i said har chandori refers to his his town his his city um uh, and there's a, there's a separate story about that but we'll jump into this story which is about him and his wife the queen uh, queen tara सो भाई गुरु दास जी स्टॉप भाई गुरु जी सुख राजे हरि चंद घर सो हरि चंद हाउस इज घर सुख राजे सो ही वाज यूज्ड टू रिजाइड इन वेरी मच ही वाज अ ब्लिसफुल एग्जिस्टेंस हिज फैमिली लाइफ एवरीथिंग इन हिज लाइफ वाज ग्रेट हिम एंड हिज वाइफ यूज्ड टू लिव अ ब्लिसफुल लाइफ एज यू नो बीइंग अ किंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑन अ वर्ल्डली लेवल ही हैड एवरीथिंग ही नीडेड एंड ही लिव्ड ही लिव्ड अ ब्लिसफुल लाइफ nar so his wife nar so tara lochan rani his nar his wife or his woman uh, nar means nar means woman his woman or his wife was tara lochan rani so uh, tara rani the queen tara uh, lochan who had uh, many um uh, attributes or virtues one being her beauty so she was a beautiful wife a beautiful queen um we carry on sad sangat mel gaavde uh, and what the story sort of centers around her so what she used to do was um I'll carry on rati jaye sona gurbani rati when uh, night used to fall and hari chand used to fall asleep uh, so you can imagine them sleeping next to each other when hari chand would fall asleep she would um, get up rati um, in the middle of middle of the night jaye she would go sona and she would listen to gurbani so you might think they're referring to gurbani here but the, the, you know this is a king that was around way 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 before um the times of uh, of guru before the last you know 500 years and there what we can take from that is he was he used to uh, she used to go listen to the bani the writings of her guru so whoever she would worship um or we can take it as her guru you know vai guru uh, vai guru uh, her, her guru i mean whatever form she would worship vai guru but she used to go and listen to um the praises of her guru or of of vai vai guru in, in a different form maybe you know as per that time and uh, who was worshiped where where they resided who was worshiped there i mean what form but she would go and she would uh, you know join in sing in join in uh, in the singing of praises of the praises of vai guru um and then the line the start of that line was <clears throat> sad sangat mel gaavde she used to sing with all of um by meeting mel the sad sangat so the company of those um so sad sangat you can take in uh, and in gurbani it's referred to in um um a different way so the so sangat just means the company or the congregation the company of sad so sad means as a verb it means um to discipline so that company in which you discipline yourself yeah? um somebody who has disciplined them, themselves so like a sad like a as we hear the word sadhu like a saint or a bhagat um so you know other you know in in our so in today's day and age we could you know think of like guru six uh, so a guru six who is uh, you know we could refer to as a saint in the sense that he follows the guru's uh, teachings uh, the uh, the he he meditates he or she meditates on the name of vai guru and then also it refers to the ultimate sant or the ult- ultimate uh, sad um which is guru sahib uh, themselves okay so from this we take that she would meet in that company in that company of of like minded people who are trying to discipline themselves spiritually trying to elevate themselves and she would she would sing the praises of their their gods and goddesses um that they would worship in the, in those days one uh, night uh so it, one night piche raja jagya after she um, got up the raja awoke so one night the raja woke up halfway through the night and he realized that the, the rani is not here addi raat nikhand vehani and the half of the the night has passed um addi raat you know half of the of the night has uh, has passed um, sorry where are we yeah so yeah where she essentially gone halfway through the night um and so he carries on rani this na avai so he looked around he couldn't see his uh, his wife manavich in his mind vart gayi hai rani so in his mind his mind was consumed by a uh, sort of shock uh, you could say or um um yeah he's 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 shocked to like to think where where is my wife where is she? i can't find her anywhere you know he's gone into like, you know the bathroom he's gone into his other quarters the kingly sort of quarters the royal quarters and he, and he still can't find uh, dara rani so he's he's quite shocked he's quite um he's quite um 
ਪੈਨਿਕਡ ਹੋਰ ਇਤ ਰਾਤੀ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਬਟ ਦੈਨ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਵਾਸ um so he he had he'd gone back to sleep and another night he he wondered you know where she she had gone so what he did was he waited until she got up and then followed her so hurat rati another night utka he he awoke jalleya uh, um and he um went try to follow tara rani pichha taral juwani so uh, rana tar, uh, tara rani sorry was juwani was young and taral and was um, very chanchal so chanchal is a word that um sometimes means like like sort of crafty uh, but what it means is quick so for example like when you you know you hear this unfortunately where if um um a a, a woman is like quite quick and we might use that in a, we will say that in english we'll say that's a positive thing or she's very quick in punjabi we might use the word tej um you know bahut tej hai and if you say it in like a, a positive tone what you you complimenting the person that they're that, that goodie she's very quick she's very intelligent but then also that with a certain different connotation it can mean kuri teja that she's too quick as in you know um you know that sort of um cultural we need to sort of keep her dumb down and stuff and we we need to sort of uh, not you know let her become empowered sort of thing so here it doesn't is gentle is not um used in that sense in the negative sense it's used in the positive sense she's very quick um so he he goes after um he follows uh, dara rani um who's young and very quick so she she um he's quite quickly remember it's the middle of the night it's probably up quite cold and she's she's off quite quickly so he tries to keep up with her uh, rani pahuti uh, rani pahuti sangati so she reaches the, the sangat the congregation where she um joins in with everybody sits down with everybody she takes her shoes off she goes and sits with everybody uh, to sing the praises of vai guru raje khadi uh, raje khadi khadao ni sani the raja stays standing obviously because he doesn't want to get uh caught following her khadao and her um a khadao a khadao is um i don't know if any, anybody would have saw this but it's like a chapel it's like a sort of flip flop but um in in the flip flop so this is the base of the flip flop there's just like a sort of um a um screw a screwed in sort of piece of wood and what you do is you like sort of my hand is here with your with your sort of big toe and your, the rest of your toes you essentially um squeeze that and the rest of the chapel sort of moves along with it and so if you ever see uh, guru sahib's um khadava um guru nanak dev ji you can see you can see guru uh, gobind singh ji when they were a child uh, when they were young and they're very small in patna sahib you'll see that style of a chapel where it's essentially just like a block of wood and then like a little sort of like a knob that has been screwed into the chapel which you put between your your sort of largest toe and the second toe and then you you keep in that pressure you sort of walk with it um, in that sense um so that's called a khadav um and what the raja did was um he didn't go into the sangat he sort of stood there and where she had left her shoes he took one of the shoes uh, thinking that you know the next day when she says oh, uh, when i say where did you go and uh, she'll say i didn't go anywhere and then he'll say well i've got your your khadav i've got your shoe as a uh khadao nisani as a nisan as a nishan as like a um a um a sign of uh, the fact that you you went like a um like a uh, yeah like so- something to essentially prove um that you uh, uh you'd gone to the south sangat and you took your shoes off there um so they carry on um when uh, tara rani got up from doing the simran and the praises and the kirtan they were doing praising of vai guru she got up she went towards her shoes she couldn't find the other shoe and obviously in, back in those days a shoe wasn't just you know you needed you know it's not like now where you can just get in your car and just come back and um, with one shoe you needed your shoe to travel from wherever and remember she's a rani so if she's come out of the palaces she's probably had to go on a quite a, sort of difficult path down to wherever the um into the town or into the city where this sad sangat is um and it's it's going to be a difficult uh, journey back um without uh, any shoes and then when you know let's say she gets back and her shoes her feet are all bloodied bloodied um the raja is going to ask where did you go why are your feet like this sort of thing so uh, she was she was panic she panicked she could she didn't know where her shoes were she sort of looked around everywhere couldn't find the other khadav and then what did she do sad sangat that holy congregation that that congregation that was worshiping vai guru in front of the uh, that sad sangat so remember hipai guru she don't write that you know she um she um aradhya so she did an ardas um in in 
to towards the Saad Sangat, that company, that holy congregation, that sort of congregation, that pious congregation that were um, singing the praises of Vaiguru. So here Vaiguru Das, you don't mention that there was like a an idol, you know, like the, the um, back in the days people would worship like an idol, like a stone idol. They don't mention that. They don't mention that there was a Brahman sitting there. They don't mention that the Vedas were being read. There was any scriptures. She, did, she didn't do Ardas to anything else. Here, they only write um, that they she did an Ardas to the Saad Sangha, to the, the company that was there worshipping Vaiguru. Um, and as we know in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, that uh, Vaiguru resides in the Saad Sangat. In Pai Guru Das Jiswara, you know, if I, it's not even a point of any, giving any references. Wherever you look in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, wherever you look in Pai Guru Das Jiswara, you see them refer to the Saad Sangat as the dwelling, the, the, the place, the residence of, of Vaiguru. Um, so she did it at Ardas to the Saad Sangat, uh, to that company. Uh, Jodi Judi. Um, her Jodi, so her pair of Kadama, as we say Joda, um, we'll refer, refer to her shoes or her chapala as a Joda, um, but it, what it means is Joda means like a pair. Joda Judi, her pair was like reunited, Kadao Purani, with the original Kadam. Okay, so the Raja has gone back to, you know, he just took the Kadam and went back many, you know, like an hour or two, however long she sat there. Um, she has now got the, her, her original Kadam, her original. Uh, you could say chapal, her original um, uh, sort of flip flop, wooden flip flop. Um, Borani, the original one. Okay. So why Guru completed her ardas? Uh, because uh, it was to, uh, it was so that she wouldn't essentially be, become, that she wouldn't get essentially told off or stopped. Uh, there wouldn't be an obstacle wouldn't arise in her, a devotee, being able to worship Vai Guru. Okay, so that's the sort of thing you want to take. She's a devotee. Um, she she obviously can't go in, in any other respect. Maybe she that's why she had to sort of sneak out. As we know how women were tr treated back in those days, they weren't mobile. They couldn't just go where they wanted to go. So she would sneak out to do Saad Sangat. But because it was the worshipping of Vaiguru, it was the uh, concentrating on Vaiguru, the Simran of Vaiguru, Vaiguru themselves then come to aid their Bhagats, their saints, their uh, devotees. And that's what Vaiguru did here. And uh, that uh, last that she did to the Saad Sangat was completed and she found her original Qadam next to her, her the one that she had. So she's got both of her Jodeh, both of her sort of Chapala, um, her shoes. She goes uh, back to the uh, palace and, and takes the Chapala off where she normally does and goes to sleep. Um, then uh, when the, you know, the next, in the morning, uh, Hari Chand goes to call her out and says, you know, uh, so, you know, where did you go last night? He tries to say, she says, oh, no, I didn't go anywhere, X, Y, Z. He then uh, looks to say, you know, well, why is there only one of your chapala there? Uh, he, he's, remember, he's thinking that she's only come back with one and I've got the other one, like, wherever he's sort of hidden it. He goes, well, where's your other chapala? And she goes, well, here they are, here are both my chapala. So she puts both of them there. And when he, when he looks to where he had hidden uh, the his kadab that he thought, thought he had took, um, he can't find it. It's, there's nothing there. And she has both of the uh, the, the kardama that she um, that she left with and she returned with that one that Vaiguru had uh, returned back to her. Raj, now what is what happens? Raje ditta chalit iho. This iho means this chalit this miracle. Raje ditta the raja saw this miracle. The raja saw this miracle and um, eh kardav hai. This is the kardav. This is the one that I have taken. How is it that she's got it and? Um, it's not where I had uh, I had hidden it. George Vidani, eh kharaab hai George Vidani. The fact that she is this kharaab is a, a Vidani, an unbelievable George, an unbelievable um, act of Vaigru. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, I don't want to say miraculous act, but yeah, like a mir miraculous act in the sense that Vaigru has um, exercised their their infinite power and, and done this for their their bhagat. And then what the Bhai Guru Das Ji, they, they themselves summarize this um, Saki, uh, this story, this body. They summarize it themselves. They say, Saad Sangat, again, the company of um, of discipline itself. So where you go to discipline yourselves. So um, in a sense, if we like think about this, so you're sitting in your houses, I'm sitting here. Um, Saad is a, is a word for uh, Guru Sahib, so the ultimate saint. So right now, Guru Sahib in, in terms of like a physical form is not here. Um, is not is not there. Of course, Vai Guru is everywhere. Guru Sahib is pervading everywhere. But in the sense, if I was to say I'm in the company of Guru Sahib, I can't really say that in a physical sense, right? And neither neither can you guys if you're at your house. Um, if we say Saad means a saint as well, we could say that you know there's no saint here, or that you know you guys aren't near a saint. Do you, do you? 
Um, but then Saad Sangat can be where you are in the company of the virtue itself that is disciplining, disciplining yourself. So where we where we do this, um, which are normally this uh, these by Guru Dasis Bara amongst other things, um, at the Gurdwara Sahib, uh, the local Gurdwara Sahib in Leicester, every Friday we explain to them. We say, look, one is upstairs. Like, so we do it downstairs. So we say upstairs is where Guru Sahib is. Guru Granth Sahib is upstairs, in a physical form. We if you were sitting with them, you can say, I'm I'm in the Saad Sangat. I'm in the company of Guru Sahib, the ultimate saint. And um, if a great Gurmuk had gone to somebody's house and you've gone there and then they're telling you about Guru Sahib and giving you guidance and telling you stories um, and um, you're, you're asking questions and getting answers from that Guru Sikh who is on the path to Vaigur way ahead of you that is a Saad, that's a saint and you can say that you're in the company you're in the Saad Sangati you're in the company of, of those who are connected with Vaigur and then now like for example this and we, we explained to everybody we're just sitting around discussing what we're discussing now uh, sort of uh, virtually this is Saad Sangat because we are discussing the writings of uh, Guru Sahib um, in terms of Gurbani, obviously Bhai Guru Das Ji, a Saad, a saint themselves, um, somebody who's connected to Bhai Guru, their writings, and we're also um, in the company of building that quality that is uh, trying to discipline yourselves according to the Guru's teachings. So that Saad Sangat, that true company, Vittoho Gurbani, we are a sacrifice to that Saad Sangat. Okay? So that sort of summarizes the whole thing. And there's not really much more to, to take from that Saki other than one, look at the power of that true company. And we always explain about company, how important it is in Guru Sahib. Like if you read Guru Granth Sahib Ji, you're gonna you're gonna see obviously uh, you're gonna see a few words um, that are repeated nearly every ang of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, or um, you know, more than once on every ang, but pretty much every single ang of Guru Granth Sahib Ji will have um, the word Naam, meaning the name of I Guru, which I think we all sort of can, can, can guess that. You're going to see the the, the, word, the name of the Guru. So like you're going to say the, the word Guru or Sat Guru, um, obviously, because it's the, the praises of the Gurus and the writings of the Guru. And, you know, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, you're going to praise Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And, you know, it's, it's all about the, the Guru. You're going to see um, like words like, you know, Simran. That's a given as well. And then the other thing that you're always going to see again and again and again, thousands, literally thousands of times, is Sangat, or it can be like, it's, it's, there's different ways of writing. So you can write Sangat, which means company, which you're sort of hint at the same thing in the context of a Shabbat. Sangat, or, you know, like we've used the word today, we've used it as Saad Sangat. And sometimes you see the word Sant Sangat, which is it's, it's also the same same thing. They're sort of synonyms of each other. Um, so those three you'll see again and again and again in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Um, why? Because obviously it must be important. Why would Guru Sahib say something again and again and again to us? And that company, if you look at somebody who has uh, gone very far on this spiritual path, that's one thing you're always going to see that they've they've kept the greatest company um, in, in, in any walk of life. So why should it be different? You know, in your in your university or your academic life, if you're at college or whatever, if you don't keep good company, you know what happens. If you you know if I if I go to the gym. And, and, and you know my company uh, is is those who know about uh, you know working out and, uh, and and general health and um and training and stuff if i'm in their company i'm going to get better just because i i'm listening to what they're talking about and i'm doing what they're doing i um, in any other company you always benefit from that company and if it's a if it's a negative company you always you always uh, lose out and um that's the sort of the main uh, point of today when you make efforts to go to the Saad Sangat, um, like in a Saki uh, related to a Rera Saib, a Shabad in Rera Saib, Kahiri Manchit uh, Uddam, that Shabad, if you, if you look into the Saki behind that, um, the um, the child that um, would, there was a curfew um, in that area, and the child would sneak to, to uh, would go and listen to the Katha um, uh, of, of Guru Saib Ji. And he got caught, and if you listen to that Saki and how he is saved by Bhai Guru, and in this case, how Tara Rani is saved, why? Not because uh, of, of anything else, because she is going, um, because she is in the action of, no, in the in the um, in the middle of worshiping Bhai Guru and um, participating in that Saad Sangha, and nothing bad can happen to uh, that person that is making their efforts to to go closer to to get closer to Bhai Guru. And Vai Guru is the protector of their saints. They are the one that will um, will save and protect the honor of their of their saints. Those that um, worship them, 
uh, those that, that um, put their full trust in Vaiguru. Remember, that's what she did. She did an Ardaas to the Saad Sangha. So when we, uh, and that's, that's why people that are, have full faith in Vaiguru, uh, whether it be you, me, you know, a, a, a saint, a true Gurmukh, those people that have a full uh, uh, faith in Vaiguru, they don't care much for um, dishonor or, you know, people uh, defaming them or slander because they know that ultimately uh, my faith is in Vaiguru. Um, and as good and bad as I am, Vaiguru will, will protect my 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 honor. Um, that's why you, you only need to fear Vaiguru, essentially. Um, and the other thing to take is that um, look at how empowered a female she was. So for all the Bibi um, that will listen to this, you, you know, you should, we, should, we should take something from that, Tigri. Um, about how uh, she still um, uh, pushed and um, didn't didn't let an obstacle come in her way to be become closer to Vaigru. Okay, so that's an inspiring thing as a, as a, as a Bibi uh, to take uh, from Tara Rani. Um, yeah, and I think that's all. Um, and also, yeah, the Saad Sangat, the fact that Vaigru protects their saints um, as well. Okay, um, yeah. So that again next week. I'm not sure who it is uh, next week. I can't remember, um, but um, every week we'll go through these characters that are referred to in Guru Granth Sahib, like we talked about at the start of this, um, at the start of this live. Again, if anyone's listening to this um, and you've missed it, for you know you missed the start of it, it will be on the Instagram page, the Mata Sahib, this in Mata Sahib Koji Educational Trust uh, Instagram page, and also it will go on YouTube, and you just type in the same thing, Mata Sahib Koji Educational Trust. Don't type in my name, <laughs> just type in that, and um, it will pop up. And all of the previous weeks. So this is body number six. So this is week number six, um, and all of them will be uh, will be on there as well. Thank you everybody for listening, and um, I hope uh, you find it beneficial. Any questions, you feel free to message this account, um, and we'll we'll try and pick them up um, in next week's live. Or we'll try and reply back uh, if we can. Thank you everybody. Bye, Guruji ka Khalsa. Bye, Guruji ki fatah.